In this video, we're going to use Field Genius's Area Calculator tool to calculate an area and also do some predetermined area calculations. There are other methods in Field Genius to do area calculations, either by using closed figures or the inverse tool. Uh, those are all discussed in other videos. For this video, I'm going to stick to the area calculator. So we're just going to go into the main menu by clicking Start. And then we'll go into the Calculations menu and then the Area Calculator. So that I'm just going to show you first here how to uh, calculate an area. We'll pick the Define Area button. And basically we're just going to go around and pick the points that make up our, our lot. Now as I'm going you can see this red dashed line um, being drawn in. That just uh, gives you an easier indicator to um, show what points have been selected in case you accidentally miss one or, or see anything that needs to be uh, changed. Once we've got the area selected, I'm just going to click the red X button to close this and go back to our calculator window. And you can see we've got our area reported in both meters squared and hectares, and also our perimeter. So our area is about uh, 550 square meters. I'm going to uh, just do some uh, predetermined area calculations. And let's just try to make an area that's, say, uh, 400 square meters. So we'll go to the uh, Determine Area page. We've got two options. We can either use a, a hinge method to um, hold um, kind of a hinge point and, and uh, swing a line around that point, or the parallel method, which will keep the unknown side at a, uh, a set uh, bearing or direction. I'll show you the hinge method first. I'm just going to uh, redefine my area. And what we need to do here is just be careful to um, either start or end on the hinge point that we want to help hold fixed. So for example, if I want to hold uh, point number one as, as my hinge point and turn this line here from point one to five, I just kind of pivot it around um, to close up, say, in this direction approximately um, to give us our uh, 400 meters in this area. We're going to define it by starting from point 1, point 2, point 4, and then point 5. So this line here is, I'm not going to close back to point 1. We're going to leave that one open. So now for the hinge method, we just need to specify our desired area. I'm going to enter in 400 square meters. And you've got uh, a lot of choices here. I'm just going to stick with the square meters. And now your hinge point can be either the start or the end point, point number one or point number five in this case. Both of those were the ends of that open side, the side that I left open. So we're going to pivot around point one, and I'll just click Calculate. It found a solution. And if you want to see that solution, we can just go back to the map view, and you can see that our solved point here. So this area in here now is going to be 400 square meters. So now all we need to do is save this point. So I'll close my map and click the Save Point button. So we'll call this uh, point 6 and a description. I'll just call it um, uh, calc. Our other option is the parallel method. And we're just going to go back to the map here. So rather than this case where we pivoted around one of our points, and we're going to um, sort of slide this uh, line from points 1 to 5 up or down until we get the desired area. So in the end, we'll get a line cutting across you know, rough, roughly in here with 400 meters up in, uh, in this uh, section. So again, when we're defining the area, just make sure to leave open the slide that you want to um, slide up and down to uh, to uh, define your area. I'm going to keep the same uh, the same shape, so we're going to leave this as our unknown side, so I don't need to redefine it. I'll just pick the parallel method, and again put in your uh, area, and then for the direction, you can either type in if you've got a, a known bearing that you want, or we can inverse. I just double clicked on the field, and we'll pick the inverse option. 
and I want to get the bearing between 0.1 and 0.5. So it's an 85 degree bearing. Let's close this. And now we just hit calculate. Again, it's found the solution. And if we go back to the map view, we can see that we've got the two points that can both be saved. So if we close the map, we can save these points. And so now we've got uh, point seven and eight created by the sliding method or the parallel method and point six created from the hinge method. And you could use the area tools again to uh, go around say from one, two, four, six, back to one will give you 400 square meters or seven, two, four, and eight back to seven will also give you 400 square meters. So those are our uh, area calculator, how you can use it to look up areas and do some predetermined areas.